Hi, Peggy, Cheryl, and Anne from the Wound Team. We're here to show you a few tips on the Wound Vac. You'll have a, a long description of troubleshooting on the, the orders, typically, but that's kind of boring to read. So the things that you want to watch for are jar is filling up. That means it's going. Um, the little circle is going around. The battery is being charged. There's the seal check leak indicator and it's down so it's telling you that it's a good seal. The other way that you note it is a good seal is it looks like a raisin. Um, the, the dressing sucks down and it looks like a raisin. It's all wrinkled. If it's filled up you need to think about whether it's got a good seal. Do you have some questions? I do. Peggy, do you think you could tell staff how to disconnect and reconnect? So if you're going to disconnect and reconnect, say you need to change a gown or um, pajama bottoms or something, um, probably the best way to do it is, there's a number of ways you can do it, but you can clamp it off. This is the vulnerable part of the whole system is this. So push in and turn, just like a lure lock that you're doing anything else with. Go ahead and put it through whatever you need to put it through, but this is the fragile part. If that breaks, you need to get a new canister. And then push in and twist and it's back together. And then don't forget to unclamp and make sure it's all operating fine. So next question is how do we change a canister? Okay, so when your canister is full, um, it, these hold 500 now, so that's a pretty good volume. But you can go ahead and stop the suction. If you clamp it off, that'll help maintain some of the suction there. Untwist and disconnect. And then push your button, and the canister pops out. It has little track grooves that fit right in. So put the new one in. And it should kind of click in there and it'll fit snugly so it doesn't come out. And then reconnect, unclamp, and you'll notice it's kind of ballooning back out now. So that's what you don't want it to look like. So we turn the suction back on, tell them it's going to suck down because that kind of hurts a little bit and it goes back to looking like a raisin. How about some common wound back alarms? So one of the common ones is blockage. If it alarms blockage, you'll want to look and see if there's some bleeding under the dressing for some reason. Um, it could be blocked if there wasn't a large enough hole cut under the track pad. Um, you'll want to give one of us a call in the wound team or if um, you don't see us on the chart. Sometimes some of the ortho or uh, vascular docs have been doing their own dressing changes. You might want to give them a call and see if, because some of them don't want the dressing taken down. So double check. Another one is if, um, for instance, if you got up and stepped on something or this peeled back or it's a moist area, and it's leaking, so there's an air leak. You can see on the canister that there's a problem there. You might try to fix it, but it's not going to completely stay. So you'll need to patch it. And this is like a seal -a meal <laughs> So to patch a wound vac, there's usually extra drape somewhere in the room. If not, Tegaderm does work. So there's a one side, a two side, and the blue. One, two, and blue. So take the one off first. And just like a seal a meal, you want to take the edge that's up. Take the one side, then the two side, and then the blue. 
and that seals it right down. And you've got a good seal again. And otherwise, maybe you might have a battery alarm, so make sure that it's the battery is good, it's plugged in and charging. If it's been unplugged for a long time for some reason. Canister oh, full could be an alarm, so just keep an eye on that. If they're going through a lot of canisters, you do want to kind of note that and what the qual quality of if it's thick, bright red blood, or if it's just clear serosanguinous is fine. And the last question we have is problem solving. Problem solving. So the, your alarms are going to be part of your problem solving. So going through those things. If for whatever reason it's alarming and you cannot get it to stop, you can't figure out what's wrong with it, or it says blockage, we have, we've reset it, we've powered it off and re-ramped it up. Um, if you can't, and it's not sealed, the deal is if it's not sealed, it's not supposed to be left in place for more than two hours with the suction off. So something needs to happen. You can't just keep pushing the button all night long. <laughs> Um, so that, that means probably a call to the doctor to ask what they want you to do. Most, most wound vac dressings, you can put a simple moist gauze dressing back in place. So don't be too afraid of them unless they're, uh, the open heart ones are kind of impressive sometimes. <laughs> um, or so, vascular. or vascular. So make sure you call the doctor before you take those down, but. A moist gauze dressing can replace most wound back dressings, so don't be too afraid of that, but don't, don't not address it for several hours. If it's going to be an hour and a half, two hours till we get in, that's probably fine, but give us a call so that we know we need to get there. Thank you for Bye. Thanks for <laughs> all your help, and we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. you.